All right, gang, I uh, just want to showcase here the new update and uh, upgrade for my machine here, which I have the Dillon 650XL. I've been using one for 15 years, and it's been running great, but I recently decided to break into and get the case feeder here. Uh, really cool upgrade, and it uh, honestly speeds up the process quite a bit if the, uh, you know, the machine is already pretty fast, but adding this upgrade is just phenomenal. Um, so I just kind of picked it up. I have used them in the past before. I used to work for a company that was manufacturing ammunition for a range, and I've used them on a 1050 machine. So, But this is pretty cool. It's a variable speed. Uh, there was some upgrades that I did, uh, some changes that I did right away inside of it because it does give you this, uh, this spacer, that be, which basically is just a washer that you got to go through on the... Um, the plate the shell plate inside uh, right here in the instructions you'll see they're talking about this washer uh, I did end up installing that of course what I'm using mine for is nine millimeter and I did install that and then it also took some minor adjustments we're going to move over to the front of this thing and show you some of the adjustments I made all right so here's the front uh, this is where the the shells are fed out of there and gone into the tube here. Of course, uh, you know each plate that you want to buy is going to cost you. I think it's around fifty-five dollars from uh, Dillon Precision themselves. Uh, this is the variable speed knob here, where you can adjust it, where you can go faster or slower. I keep it right around the middle of the road. There's no real need to kind of go any faster. Um, I'm not trying to crank out hundreds and thousands of rounds in literally minutes or an, you know or forty-five minutes or something like that. I just kind of wanted to. I was getting tired honestly myself of filling the tube manually and just keep dropping casings which in nine millimeter the standard tube held about 23 casings all right so the switch and you can see all the internals there the clear uh, plastic hopefully it lasts uh, a good long time as you can see my original tube is kind of yellowed over time but here's one of the adjustments I made which I think is really important to kind of note uh, if you look up here which I'll zoom in a little bit there for you can see these two screws right here and what they do is they control a arm on the inside it's like a ledge and that's kind of helping the casings guide by and I'm gonna go ahead and look in there and we're gonna get a shot of that okay so forgive me we're going handheld here but as the casings come up they're gonna hit this ledge and they kind of straighten themselves out into the uh, into this case of the teeth right here so that I had to actually adjust mine downward to accommodate the nine millimeter casings because if not they were bumping into this and actually getting stuck like this and seizing up the machine so there was a slight adjustment there that I had to make the other thing here moving on over to the middle you'll see those two screws in the middle it does require them to be slightly snug but not too snug and um, a little bit loose because it, uh, what it does is allows the plate to kind of have a little bit of a slippage kind of deal. They even give you a warning on there on a, sl on a sticker on having it. So I wouldn't uh, suggest manhandling and actually wrenching those things down too tight. Just a quick uh, shot of the top bucket there and just see how much casings you can actually fit in there is quite impressive. Especially for 9mm which where for me 9mm being such a, a smaller cartridge to reload uh, this kind of takes a lot of the fumble finger thing out of the deal. Alright so the final thing I'm going to let you see is it fill up the tube here with casings. I'm going to click it on. Again I've got it around the medium um, setting. so. And now it's full and it has a little uh, turn off switch right there where the casings kind of top it out and it such shuts it off automatically. Overall satisfactory, uh, definitely happy with it. They're not cheap, but you know what, it's a really nice upgrade. Of course, I've had my machine for 15 years before I decided to break out the cash and get something like this. Uh, I'm glad I did. It did kind of uh, help ease up the process of feeding the casings into the tube, uh, especially with 9mm. I was always kind of fumbling around and uh, dropping casings on the ground going from handful to handful and dropping them up into the tube now I don't have to do that with something like this is pretty awesome the power source is pretty basic gives you multiple different plugs for different uh, voltages and everything like that uh, so and then the post that it mounts on uh, 
you know, every machine should come with them. I did not have my post for a while there, and you know what, Dylan's, they kind of hooked me up and sent me the post for free to get it mounted up. They've been pretty good at replacing a lot of parts for me, as my machine is definitely getting up there in age at being 15 years old. Different springs and parts are starting to wear down and break, and uh, the plastic parts are getting a little crusty and chipping and, and all that. They've been pretty good about just replacing things right up for me. Um, with the po the post here, I didn't ask them to replace that. They actually voluntarily uh, sent that to me for free. So really cool customer service on their part. And, of course, they're right here in Scottsdale, Arizona.